In late 2017, Congress passed and the president signed what we call the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, the TCJA. Now, this, this act had a lot of different changes for both corporate and individual taxes. On the corporate side, for example, the rate was cut from 35% to 21%. They changed the interest deductibility, the deductibility of interest, and they changed how net operating losses are used. There's also a big change in the taxation of the profits of multinational corporations. On the individual side, we doubled the standard deduction. We changed the tax rates a little bit, not nearly as much as on the corporate side, but they changed. And we changed, for example, how generous the child tax credit is. So all of these changes are likely to affect uh, how taxpayers actually respond to the tax system and change actual economic behavior. So here at the UNC Tax Center, we're very interested in understanding how this tax act, the TCJA, actually affected economic behavior by taxpayers. So what we've done is create what we call the TCJA Effects Tracker, which is a web page of all of the empirical academic studies that examine the effects of the TCJA. Now there's two key, two key components to these studies. The first is that they use empirical data to study the act. What does this mean? This means that you actually wait until taxpayers make some kind of decision or until the stock market responds or we have some kind of observational data following the TCJA and we observe what, that, what those data actually do. So uh, there are many other different ways that you could affect, that you could study a law like the TCJA uh, and we're not discounting any of those other ways of studying or examining the law, but this page is going to look at the empirical studies, meaning the studies that use data that happened after the law actually passed. The second component is that these are academic studies. So the a feature of an academic study is it's produced by an academic, usually a, a professor at some university, with the intention to be published in a top um, academic journal. So the, the difference is that this creates, as opposed to a report being issued by a government agency or a think tank, is that these academic studies, with the intention of being published in a top academic journal, uh, also undergo peer review. What does this mean? This means that you submit a paper for publication and another professor somewhere uh, is able to opine on the merits of this paper. This, this uh, professor is usually independent. They're usually not known to the author of the paper. And so what this means is usually you get a much more rigorous paper. Uh, professors are usually much more careful in what they say than some of these other parties that might study the TCJA. So in the TCJA effects tracker page, we're studying the empirical, we're going to examine the empirical academic studies that affect that look at the effects of the TCJA. Now, these aren't all going to happen all at once, right? So we're using data that only happens after the actual law passed. So we're going to have to wait for that data to become available and also wait for the effects of the law to actually happen. You know, we're not going to have corporations, for example, making decisions the day after the law passes. We're gonna to have to actually wait for them to process the law, make the decisions. And so what we're gonna be doing is updating this page as more studies become available, we'll add them to the page. So we invite you to take a look at the effects that we've already kind of documented on this page and then come back and look for new reports as they're added. Thank you.